Right. We're ready. Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Canaries today. Or Tenerife Canaries. Are we going to the Canaries instead of crafting? It's holiday time again. Again. No, we're going to craft. We've put off for far too long. We're going to make... Some of us have. Wait a minute. Excuse me. Get busy. Come on, there's people waiting to see what you're doing. Yes. Some people will ask. One person will ask. <laughs> <laughs> Not millions. One. <laughs> one person <laughs> asking how to make an easel card, but with the extra bit of a little frame around the outside edge here. And if you look at the blog, get creative, thinks blogspot.com. You'll see it. And we're going to make that today using a little template that we made up earlier. And this is how you do it. You want me to come in then? You want you to press stop. <laughs> Take a piece of A4 card and on your easy scoreboard just mark the A4 half fold line lengthwise and trim that bit off so that you're left with a piece like this. Put it on your scoreboard and mark the half fold line. And that leaves you with a square card. Take your pencil and using your ready made template, which is 9.5 centimetres by 12 centimetres. Or if you're not metricated, four and three quarter inches by three and three quarter inches. Just lay that on the card inside. And carefully mark round it with pencil. So that you get a piece like that. And that piece is what is to be cut out now using your scalpel. So using your cuttlebug machine or wizard or whatever machine you normally use for embossing, take one of your folders that's got a kind of background. This is the, the one that looks like script. And this is why you've got to have your bit cut out first so you can fold it up out of the way. And you slip the front of the card where the frame is onto your embossing folder, like that. Then put it through the wizard or the cuttle bug, whichever you've got. So for the cuttle bug, plates A and B. Put your card on top. Have a plate B on top of that. Put it through. give you the embossing in the first part, like that. So you still do this wee bit here, so you put the folder in again, same way around, on the other half, close it over, close it all up, put it on plate C and B, add a B on top of that. That will make you look a completely embossed front frame. And notice that you don't emboss this bit because it's not going to be seen. Just the frame itself. This time I'm using the one that looks like snow. It's very good for Christmas. And you can push half the card through first if you like, which doesn't make it such hard work. And you push it through the thing. So the bee on top. That gives you a nice dots effect. Once you've done the cuttle bugging, and you've got your fold made, you put double sided tape on just this half. No more. Because that's the bit that's going to stand. And you're going to put another piece of card and stick it to it like that. Now the piece of card you put up can be any size you want as long as it's not bigger than the card. Or it wouldn't fit in your envelopes. That one's too long. So I'll trim it down at the bottom and make it fit. 
or you could have a picture that fits that way and just put what you want on to decorate it. Now to hold it steady you need something that's slightly high. Put double sided tape on the back of a banner or a piece of hollow card or use brads. Anything that's going to stop that bit from sliding and stick it there in the grass. Now you'll see that come up quite easily. So what I usually do is put two layers. That's the first layer and we put another layer on top of that. So that's how to actually make the card. But we're going to decorate the little easel part. And that's where your imagination comes into play. And this is where Ruth's going to show you how wonderfully easy the mandala board is to make backgrounds. Because that's what was used on this one. It's got one, two, three bits matted in layer using mandala shapes. And just a square one round the outside with a wiggly edge. The star was cut from the cricket and then cuttlebugged. As was the flowers which were braided onto the base and the ribbon around the frame as well. If you want an insert, you can do that in your computer, or as Ruth says, you can just stamp. There's it? many stamps, there's a lot of stamps. Yes. Stamps are beauties on them. Yes, yeah, so this one's, it was going to be held by this bit and then I added this bit. Okay, and, and these parts there were done on the medalla board. Medal board, which is this one here, where you've got various shapes. So you've got that size, the smaller size, and the smaller size again, but you can do them in various different areas in the board, as well as borders, which I haven't tried yet. Oh, I didn't notice the borders. No, there's borders there that I haven't noticed yet. You can use the mandala board with a light boat. Light boat? A 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 light boat? For those in America, a light box is actually a light box. <laughs> but if you don't have do a light box... We can't, we can't do Scots as well, you know. Right? Yes. We, we've been, this away. We've been told that some people don't understand this, but actually... We can you, speak properly, okay. very properly. We, in fact, we, we can do slow. We can do slow. We'll do slow. The light box. Light box. So, Ruth here has done some decoupages which make lovely backgrounds. Absolutely lovely backgrounds. Instead of where you put the star or whatever. So, as they say in the craft channels, it's limited only by your imagination. Absolutely. And I even made a choo-choo one for my hubby. It's, it's more like a child's card because it's got a little train set. But ah. since he likes steam trains, ah. he went. Oh. It's lovely. And that was done the station the master's badge on that. Yes, if you look at the blog, you will see him in all his station master's gear. Station blog. master's gear, yes. yes. And there's going to be videos put on of the train, the steam train at Fort William. So Did you see drive it? Oh no, you weren't allowed. Well, I've got the driver's passport in my car. Yes. We've got a driver's yes, passport, that's right. That came from Glenfinnan. I know. From Glenfinnan? You know, up north in the north of Scotland. You see, we could do more than one accent. Yes. It was quite interesting actually looking at this one because this was actually my birthday card. So I thought, now I can see how she made it. And I can actually see closer up now. She made any mistakes. Ah, <laughs> and I was so careful. I you were, so careful. and it was beautiful. Yes. And we just wanted to show you punches. These little oh. shapes. You get a scalloped edge. Mm -hmm. And a smooth edge. And you can put one on top of the other. And there's the other one. To give a nice like face. It. And you can put a peel-off greeting on top of that. And that can be used to stop the easel part from sliding down. Double pa double double paddies at the back. Good point. Because otherwise it slides over the top of it. So with all these little bits and pieces, we hope you'll have fun <coughs> making the framed easel card. So we'll say goodbye for now. Goodbye, and we'll see you again soon. Bye. And I think we press the stop button at this yes, point. Yes, probably. probably will. <laughs>